this financing is falling into place. And uh, we still have some more work to do, but it's going to get done. Elmira City Council makes it official, giving a downtown federal building over to the regional city center developer, clearing the way for him to get started on the project. Good evening, everyone. I'm Laura Queso. And I'm J.B. Buno. Thanks for joining us here on the late edition in high definition. Continue our coverage tonight on this big project for Elmira. The city council made it official and sold the federal building to Elmira Regional City Center, LLC, the group created to facilitate the development of the new city center. Developer Michael Elzafon was in the building and addressed the council. He also talked to WENY-TV's Joe Malillo about what he has in store. He's live in the studio with the latest. Joe? Now, Laura Michael wanted to let the council know he plans to use as many local workers as he can to find the, to build a new city center, bringing new jobs to Elmira. He's promised us to use as much of the local talent as he can, um, and that may, we may not have enough people here. This is a project that I've developed locally, and it should be built local. Um, our general contractors, architects, etc., are all sort of, if you will, charged with going out of their way to recruit and look for local participation. Michael Elzevon has become a legendary figure to Elmira City Council, swooping in and coming up with an idea that could save the city from a stagnant economy. One of the properties he is looking to fix with local workers is the old federal building. The city gave the property away at one time. It was later donated back, and since then it's just been sitting vacant. We've used it for storage, and we've thought about it for police headquarters, and um, we've had developers come in and take a look at the property, and we've just never gotten past that step. The city took some restored New York money and put it towards fixing the federal building in hopes a developer would become interested. That's when Michael Elzafon came in with the idea for the Elmira City Center project. His ideas are grandiose, but he certainly got the background, the wherewithal, and the financial stability to make it happen. So we're very excited. Uh, you know, our portion of this is basically just selling the federal building, watching the plans, closing Gray Street. The rest of it is all up to him. Now, project leaders are waiting to hear back from the state to see if they win a state grant worth more than $5 million. Live in the studio, Joe Malillo, WENY TV News. JB.